Samus. I think, I think, uh, I think uh, YCC. I'm, I'm reconsidering my bet. Crap. He did two fairs and tried to follow up when they were crouch canceled. I don't know. I don't know about that, Ivan. No, I think, I think, uh, I think Sheik like last second forward air against crouch canceling Samus should be safe. I think it's if safe you, if you shield. Yeah, yeah, or or even run away or something. But he tried to like run in and grab at zero or something. Uh -huh. after. Um, so it'll be interesting to see YCZ, who is not in NorCal for that much of I don't know his life yeah. or I, the last two years, how he deals with the shield dropping because Gar spams that as much as anyone else here, and it's not as prevalent on the East Coast. Um, do you know who YCZ plays with in North Carolina? I don't even know what city he's from. I, I don't either, actually. Like, I'd never heard of him before Landhammer when he beat oh, Lord. He, you know what? What terrible DI. I God. actually played him a long time ago in SoCal in, like, 2006 or 7. Uh, so he's been around quite a while. And he's actually quite good on this stage. So I don't know if I like this, uh, this neutral strike. From Ivan. Yeah, I don't, oh. I don't know either. That missile um, crisis coming out. I think I recall uh, Gar really liking Battlefield. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe YCZ doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. I think I've always struck a Battlefield against Gar, but not 100 percent sure. I've been on, I've been a bit of a Gar hater in the past, <laughs> but uh, now that he's 20th on our power ranking, I really want to uh, hype him up. You gotta. And, but I'm sure you want you want to reclaim your. Uh, no, your I don't want to reclaim that. I want to claim ten or something oh, like okay. that. Oh, okay, yeah, but I have much loftier little goals steps. for little steps. Two periods from now, I want to be top ten. That's that's the goal. Um, so, yeah, good stuff to Gar for getting for usurping my ranking. Uh, it was close. I, we had a long debate about it. He definitely has a lot of wins, and I would say they're mostly over. Like floatier matchups, so hopefully, yeah. Or I don't, I don't know. Semi floaters like Sheik. I think he's won a lot of Sheik dittos. Um, yeah. I'm not as impressed as with his like Falco or Falcon matchups, but uh, you know, I put my money on him here. So, ooh, gets that grab. It's really strange wow, to me that, that that's killed? a combo. Yeah. But yeah, that will go. I did not oh, know it would be super too. wave dash. That's a mind game right there. Dang, and Cheek living from the fair at 140 on Yoshi's. That's crazy. Yeah. Ooh, that roll, the slowest roll in the game. Yeah. It, probably one of the only rolls that I think you can punish on reaction when you don't see it coming. <laughs> what do you think of Gar's neutral game, like, in general? It, it's kind of weird. It's, I mean, you know, I've only played him as Puff, so I feel like that kind of changes my expectation of it because it, he... From what I've seen of him, he plays really different against Puff. Yeah, yeah, that's probably right. I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just it he's just been feels weird he's to been me. like I feel like he's every time I play him, he learns a little bit more though about the neutral game. Gar is definitely one of our more like motivated and hungry players. I've never really seen him get really discouraged. He always wants. He goes to like everything. He goes to as many turns yeah. as anyone I know. Maybe that's also because his particular part of Norcal doesn't have as many good players, so he needs to go to the tournaments more to get practice. But where this is he, a really where tight does he live? Uh, I think he lives in the city. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is really only uh, the Bayesian crew, and I don't I don't know how much they even play. Um, you know, not that much that I know of. Yeah, yeah. And most of the Bayesians, like, you know, most old school players. Don't act. Wow! Whoa, what? what happened? And how did Gar miss the punish on a Samus grab that whipped? <laughs> oh my God! I think I think Ivan also needs to throw a little bit more missiles Ooh, or uh, needles. more needles at that recovery because those are really bad for Samus. Man, such a tight battle, and it's really interesting how like the momentum has shifted, but you yeah. don't really see the adaptation in their play. I kind of feel like they've been doing the same thing the whole game. Right. Why but it's that, it's that last stock factor is coming out now, I think. I think they're both playing a little bit more defensive. No! Oh, great God, steal Red's so far yeah. ahead there. Yeah. I'm actually surprised that Ivan wasn't a, a level of Yomi <laughs> deeper there, that he didn't read that read, because I thought it was really obvious, personally. I mean, if you get, like, missiled off stage at 57, I think it was, you, you might just have to eat, eat some damage right. and try to get your yeah. jump back and stuff. 
Like, but yeah. that's the thing. Like, people get afraid at those low stock. At when you're at last stock, you know, medium percent, you get afraid of those those little bits of damage. Yeah, I think that's pretty clearly what happened. Oh, I thought he could have down smashed there. Right. So, yeah. I imagine uh, Samus's shield grab is probably pretty good against Sheik's down smash. A lot of other characters get hit out of the range of it. Right. But I think you know, I was I would still be surprised if Sam or if Sheik couldn't buffer a roll away from it even after a missed uh, down smash. It's probably. Uh, Samus could shield grab if she only gets hit by the first hit. But right, right, the right. Second hit would give her enough time, is my guess. Ooh, that's a great job to deal him out of that. Yeah, that's uh, what you said last, yeah. last game, huh? Because that takes away his grapple. And his grapple, grapple is one of the one of the ways that you know Samus can make those horizontal recoveries. And YCZ has a really interesting style. It feels like to me, he just kind of changes up what he does a lot and I don't understand why or, or like but it makes it hard to get a read on him. I've uh, I've heard people describe uh, S2J that way where like in a matchup he can be so hard to beat because he just does so many things like you can't you can't adapt to that when you don't know what the other person's doing or right. thinking. Right. Yeah. And uh <laughs> I don't know if that grab yeah. on purpose. <laughs> okay, I was just saying just like that grab, I would never see that coming, <laughs> but it's because I think it was terrible. Yeah. Um. I think uh, I think uh, YCZ has really good movement, though. Oh, yeah, I think so, too. He was using and the platforms a lot last game. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really understand the purpose of this matchup, but... Mm. No down smash. So he must know something that we don't. Do you know I usually see Samus' down smash there. Yeah, me too. Do you know if YCZ is here permanently now? Um, I don't. Because it, it's October, and I, right. I recall he's going to school in New England. You th uh, our producer, Spencer, says he thinks he works here, which would be great. Uh, we need more non-Fox players and uh, yeah. more good players in general. Nice reverse fair, looking like DeWan I think there. I think he wanted to get the ledge on that and not get popped up. He has that battlefield uh, Samus recovery. Okay, so close to the last game. Wow, oh god. It's funny that I feel like Gar has actually kind of been winning the uh, attrition in terms of getting hits, but yeah. YCZ is still uh, out punishing him. I overall. think I think Ivan might be starting to figure out how to beat uh, his counter attacks because I, mean, I think YCZ his counter attack game has been strong, but now I think I think Ivan's just trying to do his best to take it away from him. I feel like he's also just spacing aerials a lot now. Yeah. Like, he did, at the beginning of this stock, he did like four fairs to get him up to 50 real quick. So now the bears. Um, oh, okay, I don't know about that needle. Felt like a tomahawk situation to me. It's, it's always uh, demoralizing as a player when somebody does something that you could have reacted to and punished hard. Right. But you had a game plan in mind. Such as maybe wanting to wave dash out of shield, but then someone did something unsafe and you didn't react. So to me, it feels like uh, Gar is just kind of playing lamer, and it's working pretty <laughs> great. Um, real talk, though, this has to be like one of Samus's worst matchups. I yeah, maybe maybe her worst. Yeah, this this and Puff are probably uh, yeah contenders. actually Puff Puff would be a contender for worst. Okay, uh, Gar with bad DI getting caught sleeping by that up tilt. Um, I think even if he did DI, the ledge guard might have finished him off anyway, though. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ooh. Okay, spot dodge. Samus is a good spot dodge, right? Good spot dodge, but Sheik's down smash is pretty much an anti-spot dodge move. Indeed. It's funny, though, because he spot dodged Really twice good spacing on those. Oh, is he going to make it? No. Man, I never really thought about how much Sheik's needles wreck Samus' recovery. With oh, yeah. Like, grapple. Oh, yeah. I thought he might do... Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, my God, stream. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Unlock, unlock Gar. On your Nintendo 3DS, <laughs> play Smash for Scrubs, starring Gar. <laughs> I love that was the most I've laughed on a NorCal Melee post like ever. I love that in the picture with like three of them fighting each other. Oh my God, Gar joins the fray. <laughs> <laughs> no, he needs he needs another like phrase to describe him. You know, joining. He's got to like Scar or Gar like. Uh, 
you know, enters the PR or something. It's got to be something with guard PR. I don't know about this counter pick, to be honest. What what movement? He looked, he was cornered and then he like wave dash, wave landed away and grabbed. Yeah. What is that? I'm, it's like Falcon doing a moonwalk grab from the outside of the stage or something. What? So so I, I think I think when you counter pick this matchup, what you're saying is I'm gonna win the attrition game in this matchup. And I, like I don't really know that. The experience of the last few games demonstrated that that was a viable strategy. I would go as far as to say the last game said that that was a bad idea, especially given that what we just talked about, that right. Samus's general advantage of getting amazing recovery on the stage is largely negated by the character. She, like, her longevity is not going to be like it is against, I don't know, Fox or whatever. Yeah. I think YCZ has started to figure out a little bit about how to recover against Sheik because he did that uh, he did that that grapple at a much lower uh, you know elevation than last time. Of course, it was on battlefield, so he didn't really have much of a choice. But oh wow, yeah. And feel, man, YCZ has been getting so many movement and shield reads, but uh, he's still losing. This could be big. Oh. But he did drop a few edge guards last stock. Oh, wow. Oh okay, I'll also say YCD is one of the people I've seen use Extender the most. Uh, oh, wow. Fantastic combo. Oh, my God. I don't know if that was the whole plan from the beginning or if that was just I, like I a way to cover his mistake that he was able to clutch out, but. Okay, YCD really is good. styling on Gar right now. Um, Gar needs to close out the stock to, I think, just regain some mental momentum. Yeah. And, you know. Why is his last like five reads have all been wrong? Okay, well there you get something. But just that your opponent is uh I don't know seemingly brazen enough to go for such like outlandish reads can get in your head, uh -huh. make you kind of angry. And I I wonder also if uh, if Gar kind of retreats to the okay. to the typical uh, you know kind of short hop fares space short hop fair approach if we're not going to see. YCZ just kind of stick around in his shield a little bit more because I think uh, up being out of his shield on those is, is pretty safe. I think Gar is going to be on the platforms a lot right now, as we're seeing. Um, it's also a safe way to get around crash and crouch camps. Oh, oh, no. That's a tough break, but you always got to cover the ledge 100%, in my opinion. Like, even if those, even if there's you know a nice punish you can do on the stage, you still got to just cover that ledge 100%. The thing that trips people up about Sheik is that she like hovers for a while and can grab the ledge really late, and other characters can't do that. Like, She'll be at the height when her up key finishes, but she'll be able to grab it for like 30 frames or something. You'd expect other characters to fall. Wow, I don't know what that was. I think there was some kind of technical miscue there. Maybe he lost his jump when he didn't expect to. I, okay, that was, that was weird. When you do it onto a platform, like, a lot of players aren't exactly sure how their relative, you know, situation is going to end up. So sometimes it just ends up being safe. And the good Samus will ledge cancel very right. consistently as well. Oh, okay, great stuff. That's that's just like a fundamental of melee. When you're up in the air, people on the ground will generally be able to outspace you with with their. You know, almost any character can use yeah. a favorable hitbox in that position. Falco's dare is like pretty much the only move that is good at coming down yeah. relative to anti airs. Okay, Guard really brought it back. Um, I still feel like YCZ has been playing the neutral much smarter than Gar. Uh, but when Gar gets momentum and some control, he really hasn't been letting go. So. Yep, just like I said, he got a grab, didn't follow up, but still kept on the pressure. Okay, ledge. Oh, oh my recovery. god. Goes for the reverse fair. Too, uh, too much. No. Gar, don't lose me money. No. Yeah, no! Oh. Why was your recovery that bad? <laughs> Can't wait to see him dip on his PR. <laughs>